As the New Year's Eve has passed, I feel the need to make a list. This list contains 9 things that I personally like to see accomplished or put in game this year. Oh, and if you like the idea, you can make your own. Anyhow, let's start. Number 9. As I reviewed my last year's list, I was surprised to see that some of the things I got quite spot on. But those that didn't came true, I still want to see done. And one of them is smoke grenade for infiltrator, as well as decoy nades made into the holographic projectors. Just so it actually can work as a decoy, not only as some dumb zones and blips on the minimap. Number 8. Again with the infiltrator. But can you blame me? Anyways, I seriously would like to finally have a way to deal with vehicles directly with my infiltrator. So hacking it is. And while we're at it, automatic and normal NG turrets should be hackable as well. Oh, and please, finally release the goddamn drone you've been marinating for about a year or so. Number 7. I remember this thing floating around the roadmap from time to time, but somehow never making to the real game. I'm of course talking about the light assault update. It's high time that little C4 ferry gets some new tools and wings. I mean jetpacks. Or actually wings too. After all, you never know how they could work out. Number 6. Oh, this one. This gripe with the game I have could be possibly coming from insufficient lore inside the game itself. See, Plantside as it stands is rather dull as hell, and I think giving it some backstory as to why I have to commit genocide would be a neat thing to do. Not only for me, but for noobs too. Mind you, that not everyone will go to the wiki and read the lore. So putting some of it into the game would create some sort of atmosphere at least. Number 5. I have said this over and over again, but in this game bases should not be walled in arenas. Yes, in games like Half-Life you move from room to room, but even their connecting parts get used in fighting. In Plant Side 1 or 2 you simply have arenas put in middle of the battlefield. Honestly, I'm sick of having huge armies move from base to base camping spawns because terrain is complete shit. But those battles that have been taking place outside the arena bases have always been the best and most exciting. So come on, level designers, provide us with terrain that has a base in it, not a goddamn coliseum with a skybox. Number 4. As much as Higby is a interesting fellow, I did watch the command center with him and T-Ray. I watched it on YouTube, not on stream, since I live in different time zone, but in general I enjoyed the show. It gave a nice overview of what happened in the last month and what we can expect in the next one. And it also helped people promote their content. Even though I never been featured there, I enjoyed most of it. Basically what I'm saying is we need more dev to player interaction and yet still dreams I don't particularly want to count in this. Although Higby please is a neat thing. Still, I miss T-Ray and Lepers, uh, both were Wano mostly, so that's kind of obvious. Number 3. Now, there is one thing I certainly cannot stand in current development process. Whenever a patch is released, bugs, glitches and even sometimes game breaking features appear. And before you Dipshit, start yelling that there are some complicated structures and other bullshit, please understand. That I know programming and I realize that there are some devs that are under tight schedules. And still, for coders I say, test your goddamn code once again. And for people in charge of planning, I simply say, ease off there, cowboys. This isn't a race. And hey, let's pretend I didn't understand how things work. As a consumer, I would look at other games and see that they are patched without immediate CPR hotfix in the following day or so. And I would go with my money someplace else, where people don't smear shit in your face whenever you want to use their product. So 2015 must see some patch and update quality improvements. Number 2. Even though I firmly believe that console industry is pretty much equivalent of a giant dead horse who's being beaten for the last drop of blood, while at the same time they're trying to revive it with tons of cash. Still, Planetside 2 released on PS4 should not be fucked up. See, console peasants still could give devs some support in form of money, so they might actually create and release something for us all. However, I would like to see those peasants have a hundred v hundred battles, without having their black boxes exploding. So yeah, devs, don't fuck up this release, and at the same time, please do not screw up further the PC version because of it. Number 1. Okay, at this point Battle Island Nexus have been in development longer than Hassan. Well, at least what I know. And yeah, there 
are other Battle Islands being developed, so I would love to see them released in 2015. As well as some fucking meta game, where gathering bases will actually give your faction some bonus. That matters. But all in all, Continental Lattice and Battle Islands would be the best addition in my mind. Oh, and the release of Usher or Serahues would be fantastic. So there, simple and short, my list for this year.